as a man just know man with no basically not accepting no and accepting no i'm gonna tell you something no is gonna do two things it's gonna make you or break you okay just like there's a rightfully no and an envy no yeah no has it's two words that's so crazy too it's two words but it can also go two ways okay two ways to make you or break you as a man okay hearing the word no is gonna be three things that you do either all okay one either you're gonna become a beggar Either you're gonna keep going back to those people that tell you no and keep asking and knocking on the door and begging and stuff like that. Okay, you're just gonna be pathetic, okay? You're gonna be a bum. A, a bum, that's why I tell people, someone who says, don't accept no for an answer. That don't mean to continue and beg, you understand? And second, you're gonna become a criminal, okay? You're gonna become a criminal. You're gonna feel as if the people who told you no should have said yes, yeah, so fuck it. Now I'ma take it. Now I'ma rob your ass. Now I'ma kill your ass. Now I'ma set you up. Now I'ma scam you, you understand? And shit like that and that's bad as a man as that's why i'm saying this video is mainly for black men too i know every fucking man do it not just black men are criminals okay but as a black man from the black community who has been robbed before yeah at gunpoint i'm telling you guys that's not the answer give that shit to god okay number three number three i rose you're gonna do the right thing you're gonna become a fucking boss you're gonna get tired of hearing all of that's what i'm telling you guys when it become when it when they say don't take no for an answer that means become a fucking boss bitch you understand Three things. One, you're going to become a beggar. Two, you're going to become a criminal. Or you're going to become a boss. You're going to take all of those and say, fuck y'all. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to get my own shit. I'm going to build my own empire. You understand? And let me tell you something. When you choose that route, that's when you have God. All of those people who told you no, you are going to see them again. You understand? And I'm going to tell you something. And I'm not trying to envy. I'm not trying to throw shade in no way. Okay? But those people, more than likely, they're going to be going down. And you're going to be going up. Okay? And as you're passing them going up, you're flying up. You got God. So you can't help but to go up, okay? They was envious. They were selfish. They envied you. You understand? They were devious. They were conniving. They told you no. And I'm not saying just because a person tell you no that their life is, is going to be miserable, okay? But I'm just saying you, you know why they told you no. As they're going down, they have to look at you. They're going to see you, okay? And I want you to know, don't envy them. Don't throw it in their face. Just look at them and smile. Hey, what's up? Because you're doing good. That's what I tell people, man. Saying you have no reason to be mad. You have no reason to be upset, baby. You're doing, you're going up. You understand? Everything that they took advantage of when they was up, you about to appreciate. So you about to go to levels that they've never seen. There's people out there in this world with money, people who are wealthy and rich, that are a homeless man. Okay, a man could be homeless and God will bless him. And yeah, you damn right. I'm talking about myself and it's, it's fighting me to not be emotional right now. But real shit, there are things in this, me being homeless, me not having things. I've seen things and I've been around people that billionaires. I've been around people that billionaires couldn't meet who are just amazing people through God. There's places I've, I've been to, things I've seen, things I've had that I know for a fact billionaires would give their, their last dollar will go bankrupt to see to have, to be around, to touch, to feel. That's when you have God, you understand? So I just want y'all to know that. Too. This go for jobs as well. Jobs or organizations or just anything social. There's gonna be people, there's gonna be things that's parties and you know, little functions and shit like that that people are not gonna tell you about. They're not gonna include you in, you understand? They're gonna be people on a job who just envy you for just the most pathetic reason because you are who you are and they are who they are, pathetic. They look at you and they hate themselves. They can't help to hate themselves because they're not you, okay? But they're gonna be things that they do to just be petty, stupid, and childish. To just say, you know, I did, I did it for them, but I'm not doing it for her. I'm not giving it to her because it's just something about her. I don't like her. Oh uh, man, I, I yeah, I, I, I'll give you. I, I'll smoke with you, but I, I, I ain't smoking with that nigga. Though. I ain't giving it to that nigga. Oh yeah, y'all could come, but you know, not him. You know, I'm telling you. People are just that pathetic and they want to do it in a way, they're not going to tell you that, but they're going to just do it in a way to where you see it, to just see your reaction to be like, nah, 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 you're mad, huh? You're mad, huh? huh? You're jealous, huh? You're hurt, huh? huh? You feel bad, huh? huh? Because I ain't invite you. I ain't include you. I ain't just see, I'm, 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 ta I'm talking to y'all, but I'm not talking. To There's people stupid like that. That just in and that's not a, a no, you understand? Because truthfully, you didn't want it anyway, especially if it's coming from those pieces of shits. You understand? But truthfully, just know that guys, that goes on a lot with job, with churches, school, anything of social. There's people to where they don't know you that well, or maybe they do, you understand? They I tell you one thing, they know your spirit. They they know that your spirit, they know that what you're made of is way better than them. Way better than them. You understand? But the thing is that yes, you're gonna get no's from that too. No, they can't come.
No, they not invited. No, they don't. They no, they can't sit with us. No, uh, uh. Don't bring them there. Uh, uh. I don't want them. I'm telling you that. You understand? That's pathetic. Those are people who are sad. They live a sad life. And I told you guys that, man. I, I can't stress this enough. There are people in this world. I see niggas on on social media. Social media, bro. That you know that that splurge and want to show this. First of all, having nice things you work hard for. That's great. But there are people in this world who are just, who look like they're living it up. Social media was given to us to make people believe that it's okay to live a lie. But splurging, showing all this off, man, and do not have no love. And don't have God nowhere in their circle. You know what I'm saying? They claim to, they act like it. They want to have people, you know, actually believe that foolishness. But they don't have God. They don't have no, not even their children. Not even their mama, not even their spouse, not even their husband, their wife, their baby, daddy, their girlfriend, their boyfriend. They don't have respect from them. Their so-called family, their friends, their circle. They don't have respect from them. If they was to lose everything, they would lose those people. Some of those people are smiling and laughing in their face. And they know in the back of their mind, if I ain't have none of this shit, y'all wouldn't fuck with me. Those are the kind of people who more than likely give you those envy no's. Who know that you can use it, who know that you need it, who know that you really do deserve it. You understand? Who just know that basically you can get to the next level if you just had this, if you just had that. And they know that they were supposed to give it to you. That God gave them what they have to look out for you. That's why God blesses people. To see how you're going to treat others. But I'm not saying, like I say, that's not for men to trick. That's not for, you know, men to be stupid and splurge on niggas to try to impress them. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about looking out for the people who looked out for you. Or for the people that's in your circle. For the people who were there for you. That's what I'm talking about. And some people are just so stupid and have so much childish and enviousness in their heart. Some people were just so poor in poverty as, as a child. They didn't have as a child. To when, it, to whereas when they finally became an adult, you know what I'm saying? They just felt as if as, as an adult, I got to tell people no because everybody told me no. You know what I'm saying? And that's pathetic. That's a sad life, bro. Seriously. As we know, we're white people. White people could have given things like, for instance, the first envy no that we got as black people was from white people. You understand? They could have given us our reparations. They could have given us our 40 acres and a mule. But no, what they want to do, they want to give it to other ethnic groups. They want to give other ethnic groups these privileges, these passes, these benefits, and all this other shit to make black people feel less than. Why? Because they envy us. You know what I'm saying? No, I'll give it to the Mexicans. I'll give it to the Indians. Hell, I'll even give it to the Asians. I, I, I'll give it to, but not black people. Nope, we're not gonna give it to black people. Cause if black people get on, if, if they see black people, are, if they if black people have, people are gonna see that black people are gods. Black people have, have, a, have a special light in them that no one else have. And as white men, the whole world is gonna know we have small cocks, we have little dicks compared to black men. The, the world are gonna know that white women are not as beautiful as black women and they never will be. We give black people all this money and all the reparations and they start all these businesses and all these empires. You know what I'm saying? The world is gonna see that white people really didn't create shit. White people really didn't invent anything. We stole everything from all the, but most of all black people, we stole from black people. We did black people. That's an envy no. An envy no is when you tell someone you don't wanna give to that person because you you envy them. You're afraid that if they have a little bit of what you have financially or as far as sources, the world is gonna see, is gonna be so easy for them to outshine you. But the sad part that you don't understand is they outshine you when they're less fortunate financially and they forever will. So listen, I'm gonna end it with this guys, okay? Check this out, all right. The reason why basically if you get an envy no, especially from people that you know, an envy no, and you know it's an envy no, okay first of all three reasons three re three reasons why you should never fuck with them again see i don't understand this thing of people saying oh well they cool they my friend they fan but you know i'd like you know you, you just can't ask them for that you know you just you know they just not want to really like you know but what the fuck you deal with them for see i don't care even if it's family i can care less why are they your friend why are they in your circle don't you know every time that you're around a person you can get killed behind them you understand you don't know who's after them you know what I'm saying if i'm around anybody it's gonna be people who i love you know what I'm saying? Y'all know that about me. You know what I'm saying? You see me with my family. But thing is that, no, if a person doesn't look out for you or, you know, they, they pretty much envy you or don't want to give you for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe, I, I never understood the saying of you can't expect you in people. What the fuck you around them for? That, to me, that's when they come to strangers. But I don't understand this thing of family or friends or there's people in your circle, you know, you, you can't expect you from them. You can't, if the energy don't match, fuck you. You understand? If the feeling is not mutual, fuck you, period. But the thing is that the reason you need to get away from them because for one, for one, they told you no. They told you no, they gave you an, an envy no. 
okay? They give you a no when it should have been a yes. That's one reason. So you know they envy you. When someone envy is bad, it's a devil, it's a demon. Get away from them. Second reason why. Second reason why is because of the fact that when they told you no, you had to go without. You had to suffer. You understand? You had to go without. You had to basically see what it felt like to just not have when you were supposed to. They left you out in the cold. You understand? On per intentionally. Intentionally. Okay? That's dirty. That's filthy. That's rotten. You understand? That's demonic. That's sick. You understand? For a person to have and to know that they can see you. That's like you being outside in the fucking hot sun and a motherfucker in, in, inside in the air condition full of ice cold water. And you they friend. You've been there for them. You know what I'm saying? And they see you just dying like, throw me some. Nope. Nope. I'm going to let you die. Nope. Because if you on and you got water drink, you're going to be healthy and you're going to look better than me. Or just people going to want to be around you most. So, nope. You're going to die. That's how y'all have to fucking see it. Because that's what it is. You understand? Period. They could have said yeah, but they said no. So that's one. But the fact you had to suffer, you had to go without. You had to think of how to get it on your own. It was just you and God. You understand? So you go to God. You don't deal with that motherfucker no more. You're done with them. You understand? They can't come to you for nothing. And most of all, more than anything, the most hurtful, hurtful reason was the fact it was done intentionally. I think I might have mentioned that. So yeah. So I'm sorry. One, one is because they took. It was envy. So you saw that it was a no. It was a no. It was a shocking no. It was a no that you heard and it was, damn. What the fuck? Because you know it should have been a yeah. You understand? First of all, there are people in this world where they, when they ask you for something, you should be honored that they came to you. Out of all the people that they went to, they chose you to come to, to ask. Okay. So it's like I said, this is for, This is not for any moochers or beggars. This is for people to where first of all, a person shouldn't have to ask. That's the point. If, if a person is around you, you owe them that, or they looked out for you, they should not have to ask. You understand? So the fact that you you took it upon yourself, you swallowed your pride to ask. You shouldn't have had to ask. But the, you swallowed your pride to ask, and they told you no. That's one. Number two. Number two, you had to go without. You had to go without when they had it. They saw you stop. Saw you. They, they, had, they was put in a position to save you, to rescue you. You understand? But they didn't. Didn't once. Look, I'm, t I'm speaking of rescue. I'm right here by the water. They didn't throw you no fucking life jacket. Ain't that a bitch? You understand? So that goes to show you, no, they would rather see you dead. And number three, it was done intentionally. It was done on purpose. They wanted, they wanted to just see how I feel to just see you without, to just eat and enjoy and just see you and be like, like a fucking child, like a little kid. That's why I say men who do that are little boys. Men who do that have small dicks. Men who do that do not have romantic lives with women. They're pathetic. They don't get pleasure off of nothing else. They don't get pleasure sincerely and genuinely for just being who they are. So they have to get pleasure off of being an asshole, off of being a dick, off of being just spiteful and evil. Like, huh, see, I got, huh, they stall. Huh, huh. See, ain't that something? Just wanted to see, just to see how it is to see you not have. You're so attractive. You're so, you're so, you're, you're so anointed. God, you just have God all in your life. I just want to see how you look without. I just want to see you starve. I just want to see how you look hungry, how you look ugly, how, how you just, God, I, I just hate to see you happy. Fuck. Ain't that something? Damn. But anyway, though, man, I'm not going to hold you guys. So it's like I say, in this world, you're going to get two kind of no's, bro. Like envy, a, a rightfully no, no, you don't qualify. No, you don't deserve it. No, you didn't make good grades. No, you can't go to the next level. Rightfully, rightfully, okay? Just know that. And it's from your parents. It's always a fucking rightfully no, guys. All right? And a second no. A envy no. Just because they envy you. People, let me tell you something in life. I don't care how successful you are. I don't care how, how attractive you are. I don't care how much of anointed you are, how much of a good person you are. That is never your fault. Do you understand? Don't throw it in people's face. Always be humble. Always be re respectful. Always be modest. Always. Okay? But it's never your fault. It is never your fault being the way that you are because you created, you did everything right, okay? And I'm, I'm not going to stay too long on the subject, guys. But anyway, Rizzo the Hero Man, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, bro. Thank y'all so much for everything. Good Lord, they got some fine-ass women out here. Fuck y'all, man. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go get my flip. I'm about to get my Mac on. I'm about to flip. Anyway, Rizzo the Hero, later. Peace.